no one alive today can say that they've ever lived through, experienced, or even imagined what we are all living right now. The new definition of the good old days is four weeks ago. One of the main reasons that I'm sharing what I am right now is that I've had to make so many hard pivots in my life and so have a lot of you. Again, a hard pivot being defined as something you would have never chosen. Some of us are in positions that we would never have imagined that we would ever be in. I'll never forget the hardest pivot I ever had to make in my life was right here. I lost the love of my life to brain cancer. Holly and I were together for 20 years. I now know the greatest honor I ever got in my life was I got the honor of being her primary caregiver. The initial hard pivot was going from soulmate, partner, best friend, lover, to primary caregiver. It was atomic time. And that's what time it is for all of us right now. That's what I meant earlier when I said we're all living in the same space chronologically. It is atomic time. We are fighting for our health. We are fighting to protect our families. Some of us are fighting to protect our livelihoods and businesses. Some of us are fighting to protect our dreams. What are you fighting for? I've taken the newest position as the last job I will ever have in my life. I am now officially the CEO of happiness and I love my job. <laughs> I go to work every day. Job one, as CEO of happiness, I've got to explain to everybody in America, why do you insist on spelling happiness with a Y? That Y is there to make us all mindful that it is you and your responsibility, you and your opportunity to create the life that you want for you and your family. But this is not the time to disengage from your teachers. This is not the time to disengage from your education or learning. This is the time to tune in, turn on, and turn it up. Going forward, there are going to be some difficult days ahead. This is going to be a matter of non-linear progression. It's not going to be A, B, C, one, two, three. There are gonna be some days when you don't know if you can take another step. There are gonna be some days where you don't know where the next step is taking you to. The first step is you got to stand up. It's going to be friends, families, and folks, not the feds because the cavalry is not coming. But that's okay, you know why? Because we are the cavalry. We are the first cavalry of friends, families, and folks, and we've got this. If you got a dream, you gotta protect it. And if you want something, go get it, period. Peace, power, and prayers.